from three most of the game. And you know, I didn't like uh, I didn't like our ball pressure or our general body language in the first half. I didn't think we brought it. I didn't think we competed. And then we got much better in the second half. But at that point, they're already hot. They're already in a rhythm, you know, and a guy a good shooter sees the ball go through the hoop a few times in the first half. Um, better defense isn't going to make as much of a difference in second. And I thought that was the case. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, banged up a little bit from the NBA season. He's been playing a lot of minutes. Yeah, yeah. Draymond is, is still working his way back from the injury, and you know he doesn't have the uh, the speed and the bounce um, and the rhythm that he will have a few games from him. So this is all part of it. He just has to work his way through it. Um, I thought his uh, competitiveness in the second half was was great. Um, I liked him mixing it up out there, even though he picked up some fouls. Uh, we showed more life um, in that second half than we did in the first, and, and a, a big reason for that was Draymond. Uh, I know you've been very outspoken about the What do I – I'm sorry, what do I make of – Everything that's going on in in Russia, uh, it's devastating. It's just terribly sad uh, reading all the stories every day about what's happening over there, about families being ripped apart and people dying, and um, all because of the ego and the whim of a madman. It's uh, it's terrifying, actually. And so we, our staff, our team, talk about it every day just how awful it all is, and. Uh, so we are thinking about everybody over there and, and you know, praying for them. And it's, it's, it's just an awful situation. Uh, I, I think we, we needed the floor spacing, um, you know, and we needed uh, to surround Dream on with another shooter. Um, you know, I thought uh, JK struggled in the first half. Uh, it wasn't his night. Um, he's, he's still a rookie, you know, and rookies are going to have ups and downs. Um, you know, he's had some great games for us and then some games where, you know, it's things have been moving quickly and, and we've sputtered and, um, it wasn't his fault. You know, what happened in the first half, it was our fault collectively. Um, but in order to put our best foot forward in the second half, I felt like I had to go to, to veterans and, and combinations that, uh, that has to have more, more spacing. And that's why I went to auto. Since you did play all your main veterans, big minutes, on like one of them back to back, I presume probably no play. Yeah. No that's most likely, yes. I think, um, you know, the, the, the biggest thing is um, it, we, we can still find it, you know. I know that. I, I believe in our guys. Um, I believe in our ability to put it together. Uh, these last uh, six or eight weeks have been uh, very difficult on our team uh, between players coming in and out, uh, between no back-to-backs, um, you know, between different combinations, um, playing a couple of rookies. Um, you throw all that together and um, we have not, it has not been a smooth ride, obviously. And uh, so we haven't built the continuity that we need to build. And um, the way I look at it, you know, we had uh, the first 50 games of the year. We were one of the best teams in the league, we're the number one defense in the league. I know it's in us. I know, I know it's there. We're trying to make it to the finish line, but, but in doing so, trying to build a little momentum at the end, um, I still feel we can do that. So that's, uh, that's my belief. I have faith in our guys. 
Uh, but we've got, to, we've got to do a better job competing and we've got to do a better job moving the ball and doing all the things that, that we did those first 50 games. We can find it, but uh, our guys got to work for it. All right, thanks.